guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and this channel is all about SMS beauty, which is skincare, makeup, sunscreen, ta-da! And today we are doing the comparison of the Say Sun Visor. I wish they had made these packages a little different. I understand that's not necessary. Most people don't have both, but this is what I'm gonna call Sun Visor 1.0. This is the original and this is Sun Visor 2.0. So they just dropped this maybe a month or so ago. And right now it's a little tricky, not necessarily to find it, but to find the difference. On Sephora, you will still be getting the old version. On the Say website, you'll be getting the new version. So if that is something that you want to consider, like, or it's important, you wanna find the old one before it's gone, go ahead and go to Sephora. I, I think you could probably find it other places, but that's where I found this. This is a new bottle. I had an old version about a year or so ago, but I got a new one for this video. And then the say the new one is on their website. If you're looking for the difference, it doesn't, it's not always clear. On the website for say, they will say this one is, has vitamin C, but if you're looking at the ingredient list, look for, what is it called? I have it in front of me. <laughs> I had to write it down though. 3-O ethyl ascorbic acid, that is the vitamin C. So that's what you're looking for and keep an eye out for it. Okay, so now that we have that little like preface done, I wanted to get into the differences. I'm gonna show you on my face, I'm gonna show you swatches, I'm gonna do all of it because they are quite different and I think it's important that you kind of see and just hear about the differences for both of them. So let's get into it. I'm gonna put it on my face, I'm gonna do a side by side, which is what I tend to do when it's kind of what's the difference type of thing. So I'm gonna start off by putting the first one on my face and this is 1.0 and then 2.0 on this side, which is my left side. I do have my quarter teaspoon, so I'm gonna try to measure about a half of it. It's not always exact, but that is the goal. So that looks like, um, like three and a half, three, four pumps. That might be a little bit much, but that's what it is. All right, let's put it on my face. Also, my under eyes are quite red right now because I did a mask last night, I guess, and it got too close to my eye. <laughs> Okay, so this is the original, and the one of the things that I talked about in my original video is that this one has almost like a little bit of a cooler, I think it pulls a little purple on me, undertone. It does blend in invisibly. It's not like you're gonna see a white cast with this, but the tone is a little different. I'm gonna show you now what the new 2.0 looks like, and I almost forgot to use my teaspoon, but I didn't. I'm really interested in showing you guys is the swatch of it, the actual texture. I think that's really important to see. This is the side by side. Wow. That is even more noticeable on camera than I thought it was going to be. But I think hopefully you can kind of see there's a pretty stark difference in the tone, the shade, so much of it. They're both glowy, but you can see that this one almost has like a shimmer to it. And I have sunscreen all over. So, and all of a sudden my nose itched. So the difference that I was talking about in kind of the, the tone and the, the shimmer almost is because the new one has what they call sheer golden pearl. So I think that is the mica, I believe. And mica is in both, but if you look at the ingredient list, the mica in the new 2.0 is much higher in the list, which means either that there's more of it, well, that's the only thing it means, <laughs> because it's not in alphabetical order. And this one, some sunscreens are, the ingredients are listed in alphabetical order, but this one is not. So my understanding is that there's probably more of it and maybe a different kind of color or formula of the mica. So that's kind of the main difference in terms of look. 
So I think the next most important thing is to go into the ingredient list. I did want to talk about the specs and the, like the details of the products first as well. They are pretty much the same in terms of packaging, in terms of price. I think the 1.0 used to be $36. You can't see that on the website or Sephora anymore, but they are both now $37 and you get 1.35 fluid ounces or 40 milliliters, which is a pretty substantial amount for a sunscreen. And I would say $37 is, of course it's more expensive than a lot, but if you're only using one sunscreen, that's a pretty good price for a sunscreen these days at like Sephora as well. Now. Like I was saying, I really think that the ingredient list is kind of where the, the differences lie in this. And I did wanna go through kind of the main points that I found. Now, I am also a formulator. I formulate my own skincare, so I do know the differences in a lot of the ingredients. So one of the main differences that I noticed is in the 1.0, they had grapeseed oil at like one of the first ingredients, whereas in the 2.0, it is now sunflower seed oil. Both are good, but grapeseed oil does have more linoleic acid in it. So if you're looking at just that ingredient, I would say grapeseed oil is a little bit better. Sunflower oil is like a more functional oil and it's a little bit cheaper. So I can understand why they took it out. And I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference just because there are other oils and butters in this. So that's not a huge thing. And I actually don't mind sunflower oil in that the sense that it's a little bit, I mean, they're both a little drier of oils, which means they absorb more readily and quickly, which I think is a good thing. You have so many other oils, you're not gonna like lack for oils, but yeah. And they both have argan oil, which is a very more heavy oil. That's one of those things that's gonna last and stay on your skin. It's gonna give you this glowy look, longer lasting hydration. So I do like that. They both have licorice root extract, which is great extract. You love to see that. It helps with reducing pigmentation helps with reducing a lot of inflammation as well. And then they both have aloe extract and bisabolol, which is one of my favorite things. I don't even know if I say it right. That is a super hydrating. It's gonna be a little bit heavier than something that's a lighter oil. And that's why you see this glowy look on my face. And as they both also have hyaluronic acid, which is great as well. The one big difference I'm looking at my list, they both have mica, they both have iron oxides. I think I covered everything. But the one difference is the 2.0, I think this is it, it has 3-0 ethyl ascorbic acid, which is a version of vitamin C. And that's why they're gonna be saying that this is a vitamin C serum or sunscreen. Absolutely true. It is lower on the list, that's not a bad thing. You don't need a lot. Actually, a lot of vitamin C formulations do require a lesser amount. It's a pretty kind of tricky ingredient to formulate with. So I have no, they don't say how much it is. I'm thinking of the Ilya new uh, sunscreen with vitamin C. That one has 10%. I don't think this one is 10%. And I think that's okay. Honestly, I have not had any irritation from this. The, the first few times and still, when I put the Ilya one on, it will tingle, like my eyes will tingle, even down here will tingle. And I think it's not as great for more sensitive skin. Whereas I think this one, you're gonna be getting some of the benefits of vitamin C, but it's not gonna be so much that your face may burn or tingle or get irritated. So I think I would say that this one over the Ilia will be better for more sensitive skin. Now, if you really want vitamin C in your routine, I would say go in beforehand as a serum and put that on as well. Don't necessarily use this as your vitamin C. It's kind of just like an added dose of it. It's kind of like when you have SPF in your makeup, don't use your makeup as your sunscreen, but use think of it as kind of like the cherry on the top type thing. And both of them do have the same amount of zinc oxide, which is 15%, non-nano, non-coated, I believe. So you're gonna be pretty much getting the same kind of coverage and protection from both of these. So the main difference is the, the tone of it, the glowiness in terms of like, maybe a little bit more of a shimmer. And there's no glitter in it, but it does have, it just looks completely different than this. This one, I can see my redness. This one almost looks like a little bit of a tinted moisturizer. The tone for me works better. This one, I always found, do you see how like it kind of pulls, I don't know, it doesn't necessarily pull purple, but underneath my skin looks more purple. Like I can see the redness right there from my irritated eye. Whereas on this side, I really can't see anything. So vitamin C and the tone and the glow, shimmer, if you will, are the main differences in this. They both wear really well under another tinted moisturizer. Actually, I have the slip, um, slip tint from Say, 
and they of course they wear well under this. This one also has 15% zinc oxide. So unless, well, here's the thing with makeup with the sunscreen in it, you have to use a quarter of a teaspoon just like you would for your sunscreen. So if you're gonna use that, that's great. But if you're only gonna dab on just like a pea sized amount, you still need to layer sunscreen underneath it. But of course this is kind of made to work in conjunction with the sun visor. So these are two really good options. I also, when I use something like this, especially when I do find that I get more coverage, I will just go over the spots that I need to conceal with the concealer. I don't always find that I need more foundation or a tinted moisturizer and a concealer works just fine. So that's it. Um, I am going to insert the swatches right here. I almost forgot. I want to show you the difference because one of the main things with the old formula is it looks like curdly. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it other than that. But you can see the difference in pigment. One part is darker, one part's not, and then it kind of, it takes a little bit of rubbing to blend it out. Whereas 2.0, it's beautiful. It's smooth. It, it, I felt like it went on just a little bit easier and the tone of course is different. So let's look at those swatches. This is say 1.0. This is say 2.0. You see how it kind of separates there, there, and it takes a little bit more rubbing. This is say 2.0. Look at that, so much smoother. This one is not even rubbed in all the way. So we have the difference. This one is 1.0. You can see it's got a little bit more of like the light champagne -y undertone and this is 2.0. You can see there the difference in tone. All right guys, so that is the review. Do I love the new one just as much as I love the old one? Actually, I love it more. I do find it to be very versatile, even more so. I think it'll work on a lot of skin tones. I don't necessarily think it'll work on all skin tones. They could still have maybe some variations of shades but I find it easier to rub in. I love the addition of the vitamin C. I don't feel like it's irritating like some other vitamin C's can be. And I think overall, they've just kind of made the, the formula more elegant. I don't love the curdliness of the old one. And I think that this is a big improvement. Overall, I, I do love it. But if you don't want, I think, the shimmery look, you know, the old one had more of like a natural glow, whereas I think this side, you can see. It's not, there's no glitter, but it's shimmery in a sense. So that is something to consider. But overall, you know, I love it. I would consider like this an improvement, but if you love the old one, go ahead and stock up, get it from Sephora before they are no longer available. So I'm gonna wrap that up for now. I did wanna mention, I will be doing a side-by-side -side with the slip cover. What is this called? No, slip tint, because I think that's also valuable to see. I was like, wait, why can't I just buy this the sunscreen? So I'll be doing that soon and keep an eye out for it. And yeah, I hope I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.